I now have SMS text alerts working on Notifier. So that's AFP 200, 320, 640, and 3030. And I've also enhanced uh, the features. I've added filtering. So you can filter out what you don't want. You can pre-filter. In other words, maybe you just want fire alarm. You can filter that out now on your text messages. Also, um, I've added up to uh, 1,024 accounts. So you can, you can have a building, like say you have 1,000 people, 1,024 people, they could all carry a smartphone or have a computer that ha gets uh, text alerts. And I've also added email functionality so that the, uh, the alerts could be email alerts. So let's just take a look. Let's take it for a test drive and see how well it works. Okay, that's three accounts right there. So that's two of those are text and one of those are email. So the first one was the door opened and the second one was the panel cleared after I closed the door. And let's take a horn off. So I've got it working on all three accounts. And of course it works on alarm, but to do it on alarm, I'm gonna take the horn off. Because if I take that horn off, by taking off that horn, that disables all of the suites, because that's the first one. Okay, now I'm gonna put it into alarm. So what you're hearing is the fire alarm and then you're hearing the acknowledge. Now the one on the right, the iPhone is, is the slowest. It's taking about 20 seconds to come in. There it is. Okay, that took a bit. That took about a minute. But it did come in. It's the iPhone is the slowest. Um, the Android was pretty much two to six seconds. And the email was, oh, between two and, f about two and six seconds. Let's do a reset. Said it got that. Oh, I forgot to clear it. I have to clear that pulse station.
Okay, it looks like they're all keeping up, except for the iPhone on the far right. It's the slowest, and that one notification took almost two minutes. So I'll have to find out what the bottleneck is with the iPhone, and uh, go from there.